You shut up. Shut up. Hey, what do you got going on over there? What's what's in there? What what's in the box? What is that? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the Xbox? Okay, welcome to another down the rabbit hole video. I'm gonna do another one of my what's in the Xbox videos as per the intro. And this one's a bit of a special one because the original Xbox here is 20 years old now. I've been watching quite a few people discuss how this console came out in November of 2001. So happy birthday, original Xbox. I thought, right, I definitely have to do one of my what's in the Xbox episodes but I'm gonna break from tradition. Um, for those who don't know, my friend who gave me his original Xbox has it modded to play anything that's burned on disc. And I have the entire library all sitting here for me to play at my leisure. So I've been going through with this series, this book of just whatever games come along and enjoying them and going from there. But I just thought to myself, well, I got to do something special for the Xbox's birthday. And I thought, well, why not play some of the real iconic uh, original Xbox games like Halo, for example. But I'm sure everybody who's doing these kind of um, anniversary videos is playing Halo. So I thought, no, 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 no. Let's do something else. And I looked up what were the first games to come out for the original Xbox, among which it says online, and this may not be true, that Cell Damage, which is a cartoony racing game, is technically, it came out before the original Xbox. It says on Wikipedia, November 14th, whereas the Xbox came out on November 15th. And I thought, okay, well, luckily, Ed Freeze, who I follow on Twitter, has actually been posting quite a lot of stuff about the 20th anniversary. So I asked him, hey, Ed, is it true that Cell Damage came out first? And he said, no, I don't think so. That doesn't sound right. Then I got a reply from Kevin Haskett, who said, actually, there were quite a few games that came out uh, that technically launched before the console itself. And he mentioned he had a few, went to GameStop and was prepared to pick them up before the actual, so that he had stuff to play when his, the console released the following day. I asked him, ooh, what are some examples? Because I would love to play the quote-unquote first game that ever came out. Ah, uh, that's not Halo, or at least not according to Wikipedia. Uh, so Kevin replied back, actually, Project Gotham Racing and Ghost Recon. Uh, there's another, but I can't remember. Uh, I was at GameStop every day back then, seeing if anything new was coming out then. The GameStop manager uh, handed me the first Xbox sold in his town. So either Project Gotham Racing or Ghost Recon were, according to at least Kevin Haskett, first games that came out. So let's look for Project Gotham Racing or Ghost Recon. And we'll play them instead of the usual as we go through the uh, list in the book here. Well, I am shocked. I have been all over this book and I can find no copy of Ghost Recon or Project Gotham Racing or even Cell Damage. There is Halo. It's way back here toward the beginning, but I'm kind of getting close to that. And again, everybody's going to be playing Halo. So the closest I have found is why don't we try the sequel then? Project Gotham Racing 2. Okay, so Project Gotham Racing 2, and we're swirling around some kind of a car. Uh, let's give this a try. Now, I've actually played some of these games using a modified driving controller, and this is the first driving game I'm doing now, but I think I'm going to stick with just the Duke, 
Uh, we might as well keep this as pure to the um, original experience as possible since it's a celebration of 20 years. Well, let's give this a try. And I will just press start. Uh, my typical way to do this is I do the tutorial in quotes and play the game for an hour. Will it be a tutorial for a racing game? Let's find out. So start. Uh, sure, create a new profile. Oh, there's done. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Wow, this D-pad isn't all that great. Okay, done. Washington, D.C.? Sure. Okay, going with all the defaults, let's try a single-player game. Wow, there's a lot to choose from here. I'm just going with defaults the whole way and just continuing here. Let's do a street race and a Mini Cooper, apparently. Oh, yes, automatic, definitely, because I ain't doing manual with uh, also talking and trying to look at the camera. Well, it sure was a lot to choose from before I could start the game. But we're now into the game. Okay, welcome to Florence. This does not look too much to me like Washington, D.C. But whatever. Where's my Mini Cooper? Where's my Mini Cooper at? It's got to be coming up here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Pull the trigger to go. Yes. And that steer. Okay. Do we have a boost, really? Well, he does something. I'm not going to mess with it, though. Let's just stick to the road. See if we can beat these chumps. Ooh, well, I'm in the lead, but I'm hurting. Oh, now he's out of me. Come here, you guy. Come on. Have I got like a power... Ah, a power uh, slide ability here somewhere? Is that asking a bit much of a Mini Cooper? We'll soon find out. Oh, don't you get ahead of me. I'm in front! Yay! Okay, and then turn. Turn. Keep going. Don't let those guys get next to me. Ooh, windy. Windy. Is this the finish line? It's something. It's like the start. Am I the second? Is this my second line? I have no idea. Why does it say I'm top position, like position one out of four, which is good, but my target is to be third? What? I don't get it. Why is there a car behind warning? Is that, I mean, obviously there are cars behind me. Isn't that a good thing? I want there to be cars behind me? I don't know. This is what happens when you just leap into a game and you don't know what's going on. Clean section. Oh, thank you. I like to drive clean, I guess. What else we got here? And it looks real nice. I have to say, I have always been very impressed. Oh, did I win? I win! Hey! That wasn't so bad. Fastest lap. Right on. And I've got a bunch of points with which I can do something. I got the fastest lap. Awesome. Let's continue. Okay. Uh. Now, I think I've just done that. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Can I choose other than Florence? I can't. Oh, wait. What? Oh, okay. That was a street race I just did. If I wanted to do a one-on-one, -on -one, that's a different one. Okay. So, how do I... What do I... Do I want to go up this list? Is this how this works? If I do that street race again, that's the same thing again, right? Yes, because your best kudos, one, two, three, five. And I have not... Done. Okay, let's do a one-on-one. -on -one. I have no idea what this format is, but let's try this out. Uh, well, let's try a different car, then. Let's try the Seat Leon Cupra R. How much is... What's the difference? It doesn't have as good handling, but it is faster. Hmm. What about the Volkswagen? Ooh. Well, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go for some a different car. Let's go for this. Uh, definitely automatic. And definitely novice. Okay, here we go. Very nice, very nice. Graphics are pretty good for the era, gotta say. Actually, for a launch game, this must have impressed the heck out of people who were just onto the previous generation. Oh, I didn't pull the trigger right way. Okay, so I just have to beat him. Which, given I have faster speed, should be easy enough, but I cannot handle as well. So let's just make sure we make corners. Oh, oh, 
That's a red. That's bad. Oh, that's also bad. What is that red thing telling me? Other than I'm a bad driver. Okay. Yeah, I imagine. Now, was the PlayStation 2 out? Ooh, ouch. Was the PlayStation 2 out before the original Xbox? Clearly they were competitors, but I'm just imagining if I'm used to PlayStation 1 or Sega Saturn and I'm throwing this thing in, I would have been really, really impressed. So kudos to the original Xbox for the graphics. This looks great. And this is launch ooh, launch game PlayStation uh, Xbox. Like, there have been some really nice games that I've played in doing this series where the game is practically... Where am I going now? Practically PlayStation 3 or original or Xbox 360 era. Like, some of them, as with all consoles, you give it enough time, the developers really learn what looks best and how to really tweak and optimize what the machine can do. And you end up with some amazing looking games. Hey, I win. Oh, okay, so now I could do a cone challenge or a one on one. Okay, okay. Wow, that's weird. So you're basically, you start at the bottom and you work your way up the list. You have to complete the previous things. Hmm, very strange. All right, I don't really do a cone challenge. Let's do another one on one. And then, uh, like, there doesn't seem to be anything. You know what? Let's just go back. I go back. These are the compact sports series. I have to unlock other stuff. And that's about it. Then we've got multiplayer, etc. So there's really no tutorial, per se. No, you're just going through uh, trying different world series, like a lot of racing games. Huh. What are the controls? I should see if there's like a, um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, you can, yeah, general options. I want to know if I can control our options. Can I do that thing of, what? Select the port controller. Okay. Yeah. Controller. There we go. So there's the handbrake. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Camera changes, brain says, okay, yes. All right, let's go back. I'm gonna go back and do some further parts of the scene here. Don't need options, single player. All right, I'm gonna do my hand breaking a little bit more in this one. Uh, let's do another one-on-one, -on -one, and then I will play for a while. Do you wanna do this? Sure, try a new car. Uh, I'll play for a while and come back with my final thoughts. I'm going to stick with novice while I'm talking. And I just noticed it said on the loading screen, you can use the kudos, those uh, little medallions, those little coins you keep earning. You can use those to unlock better cars. So maybe I'll do that too. All right. Now this is Sydney, Australia. Let's see. Ooh, it's a bit, got a bit of a wiggle. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. I just realized it's wrong for me to say this looks good for such a for a launch game for the original Xbox. We're playing the sequel because my friend did not burn the original Project Gotham Racing. So I take back all my nice things that I said. It's still a nice looking game, but I had forgotten. I can't find Cell Damage, Ghost Recon, or Project Gotham Racing 1. Ergo, we're playing Project Gotham Racing 2, which benefits from having a little bit of time. It would have been nice to find those. Like I say, there is Halo Evolved. Uh, there is Halo on the collection here. And that is very close to one of the next games I'm going to be playing. It would almost have been better to play that as the iconic title for the original Xbox. But I'm sure everybody is. And maybe folks are tired of watching Halo playthroughs. Ooh. Okay. Bit of a grind to the controller there. Some force feedback as I slide through there. All right, well, oh man, I'm leaving that guy in the dust. So yes, I take back what I say about how nice the graphics look. However, I do like the graphics. Slim, slim. Yeah, 
It's something we could play for the Xbox's birthday. Something different. All the other stuff I've been doing so far is brawlers or adventure games. Whoa! My first racing game I'm doing. So what if it's not one of the launch titles? You can blame my buddy. He's the one who burned all those discs. He didn't burn any of the original or the early games. Too bad, too, because I would really like to try out Cell Damage. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, as I always do with this, is play for an hour. And I'll try a few weird things. I think I'll try some kudos, unlock some different cars and stuff. And then I will come back and uh, we'll discuss what I think of Project Gotham Racing 2. All right, well, I uh, only lasted about half an hour. Um, so I got through a couple of the... I finished off that first bunch of races, and I'm in the second bunch now. And they're pretty good. I quite like the handling of the vehicles. And what's also really cool is the radio that plays in the background seems to have appropriate voiceover for the area. Like right now we're in Moscow, and I think it's a Moscovian uh, thing that I'm hearing on the radio, like a Moscovian radio DJ. So that's pretty cool, or at least the music. Um, I've unlocked the best cars that I can, given the kudos that I had. I, I won this street race, and obviously I have to complete other events to go to the next. I can't do this overtake. What is an overtake? Well, uh, there's some neat variations. Another thing I like about this game, you're not just racing. There was one where you had to uh, get to kind of past a photo finish. You had to be racing at 80 miles an hour. And it would take a picture of you, so you got to make sure you're up to that speed. That was pretty cool. This is just overtake three cars, and I can't do it. I've tried it multiple times. I'll give it another whirl here. Yeah, you see, I got like the highest car that I can afford. Great, great, uh, great specs here, but I can't do it. As you see up there, overtake three cars in three minutes and fifteen seconds. How hard can that be? Well, apparently really hard. Here we go. I'll show you my problem again. Now, I can take on the first guy pretty easily, and even the second one, but by the time I'm trying to get to that third guy, I just can't do it. Here, let's get past him. Whee! Right on past. There's one within seconds. Here's the second one. Overtake him. Oh, okay. Now I just got to get that third one. Now, of course, now that I'm recording and having complained about it, I will manage. But I've been trying this for 10, 15 minutes now. I can't get past this third guy. And of course, as soon as I lose any kind of control of the car, then the others overtake me and I'm back to square one. Okay, let's see. Can we do it? Can we do it? Come on. I just need to pass that third car. I just need to pass this third car. Let's do it. Come on! You can do it! You've got a really good car! Ah, now, I, theoretically I've done it. Yes, three overtaken. Okay, well that's farther than I was getting before, so that's good. Why is the race not over? What, do I keep going for two minutes? Maybe that's... Oh, maybe that's the challenge. Can you maintain your lead? Or do I just have to do one circuit? I guess we're going to find out. Um, I do like this. This is a really nice game. It looks great. I like the bells and whistles, things like the Russian music we're listening to, etc. I crossed the finish line. I guess I just got to keep going for the next minute and a half. Um, obviously, as mentioned before, this benefits from not being a launch title, but a little bit further into the lifespan of the original Xbox, so it benefits from really nice graphics. For the era, this is fantastic looking. And the challenge is very good. I mean, I'm kind of just barely getting through each of these challenges, and I'm on easy. I've, I've bumped my, myself up from novice. I actually tried out easy, but it has proven to be not so easy. And of course, like any racing game, you got to do all of the stuff if you want to finish the game. So can I... Do I what happens if I ever take another one? Ah, you see, now I've spun out. And now I'm going to lose my status if I try to, like, okay, uh, okay, oh, yeah, now I've got to overtake that blue guy again. Uh, well, this was the farthest I had gotten. What happens if I take over, 
Oh, see? Oh, no, no, I'm gonna overtake two cars. This is not going anywhere. Ah. However, Project Gotham Racing 2 is very good, and I quite like this, though it is a challenge. Handling is good. It's, it's sort of a nice combination of not quite sim, not quite arcade, a little bit in between. Just gotta get past. Oh no, I have maintained my three. So I just gotta stay here for three minutes or six seconds? Can we do it? Hey, maybe I'll have one, one after all. Ah! Race finish. Okay, I did do it. Woo! All right. Well, that seems like a good place to leave it then. Yeah, we'll continue on. I did manage to complete. Well, that was hard though. I did a lot of playing of that just to get to that point. Okay, now I can unlock these other guys and do this. All right, but I'm not gonna. I have uh, I have played my fair share of Project Gotham Racing 2. Really like it. Quite nice. Unfortunately, I don't have the first game. It would have been nice to play one of the launch titles for the original Xbox. But my friend chose not to burn any of them except for Halo. But we'll be getting to Halo probably very soon. It was very close to the front of that binder. All right, well... Happy birthday, original Xbox, and until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.